Does cancer caused by bacon taste like bacon? What is a Christian woman's greatest impediment to her own enjoyment of sex? Will Christian hypocrisy ever get old? For October 30th, 2015, from the stylish high-tech underground studios of Ribbit Media, in weirdly warm and humid Cranston, Rhode Island, this is News Undies. <laughs> For October 30th, 2015, this is News Undies, all the news that shouldn't be news. Pig, sheep, and moose have the week off. I'm Paul Torville with these headlines. Just, well, just a second. Let's let's review here. I've been out of the game for a little while, uh, what with being in an epic and very well-received production of Arthur Miller's The Crucible. Thanks and congrats to all the crew and cast and the leadership of Rhode Island Stage Ensemble. Uh, let's see. Republicans in Congress still investigating Benghazi? Good. Ben Carson still a loon? Oh, yeah. Check. Donald Trump still a loudmouth ass? Oh, yep. News media spend an inordinate amount of time gushing about how we actually reached a specific date pointed to by a sci-fi comedy film 27 years ago and pointed out over and over again that while we have some cool things now, life is... In a lot of ways, just as lame as it was in 1987, and in some ways, is lamer? Uh-huh. The loudest and proudest faces in the GOP still fear-mongering, hypocritical, selfish, superstitious, bigoted assholes? Yep. Good. Gotta love that low-hanging comedy fruit. On a side note, apply for passport in case Republicans... Republicans win. Still no flying cars, hoverboards, or meals in pill form? Okay. Pat Robertson still blaming natural disasters on God's wrath for gays being gay? <laughs> That's a relief. A quick thought on this one. If God made everything and knows everything and nothing happens except according to his perfect plan, then... Assuming for a moment that Pat Robertson is right, and I know it's hard to pretend that much, but wouldn't God's outrage at gays have to be contrived? I mean, God knows all, right? He, he had to know that the serpent, one of his own creations, I might add, and subject to his will and control would tempt the bipedal mammals in the garden, and knowing how he made them with supposed free will, which is necessarily a crock if God is actually omniscient, but since we're already down the rabbit hole, let's just stick with it for the moment. God had to know Eve would fall for the apple bit because he planned it all that way. Fast forward 6,000 years, and now... He's causing earthquakes and landslides in Afghanistan to show the gays in San Francisco and New York how angry he is about them doing what he planned for them to do all along and knew they would do. What a confused, passive-aggressive asshole. <laughs> but enough about fairy stories. On to the actual news. The World Health Organization has released a study which suggests that processed meats, and red meat specifically, and don't be fooled, they're counting pork and lamb in there, may be linked to cancer! Especially bad, according to the study, are things like bacon and hot dogs. WHO wanted us to know that this study is suggestive of the link between meat and cancer because WHO cares. And the lovely Christian online publication Biblical Gender Roles is back in the news with a lovely article which instructs Christian men that it's perfectly okay for a Christian man to have sex with his wife even if she doesn't want to, even if she's recently had surgery or whatever. And in the end, your wife has to realize that the greatest impediment to her own enjoyment of sex may be her own mind. 
So, this is what Jesus' love looks like. Swell. Emergency. Everybody to get from street. Up next, Bernie Sanders jeopardizes his internet access. Hobby Lobby involved in customs fraud for Christ. And what kind of a name is Anandaya? Seriously, I'm wondering. For your upcoming wedding, bat mitzvah, or funeral, trust the professionals at Blas Florist to create the perfect mood-appropriate arrangement. Your special occasion will be so much more special with a Blas Florist arrangement. Blas will help your memories be that much more memorable. Call or click today to order your unique and not at all sexually suggestive arrangement from Blas Florist. Blas, the florist you shouldn't fear. Sports. Democratic presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders rallied in New York City with about 200 members of the union's Communication Workers of America and the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, two unions currently in negotiations with Verizon for new contracts. Sanders told the crowd, The middle class in this country is disappearing, and what Verizon is doing to their workers is exactly what has got to be fought if we are going to rebuild the American middle class. The unions have been in talks with Verizon since before the most recent contract expired this past summer, and employees claim that with each contract the company is eroding benefits and incentives to the point that they cannot keep up with inflation, while executive compensation appears to know no limits. Verizon spokesman Rich Young described the union's views as distracting mischaracterizations, distorted facts, and innuendo. There is no word yet on what sort of difficulty Sanders can expect with his cell phone and home internet service. The wonderful folks at Hobby Lobby, famous for promoting so-called Christian family values, are reportedly under investigation for illegally importing cultural artifacts from Iraq to be featured in their planned Museum of the Bible. U.S. Customs agents seized around 300 small clay tablets, which were shipped from Israel to the Green family's headquarters in Oklahoma City in 2011. The Green family has reportedly amassed a collection of about 40,000 biblical artifacts, which they plan to display at their so-called museum, which is currently planned to open in Washington, D.C. in 2017. Steve Green, CEO of Hobby Lobby, said of the museum and its planned location two blocks off the National Mall, I think seeing the biblical foundations of our nation, for our legislators to see that, that a lot of that was biblically based, that we have religious freedoms today, which are a biblical concept, it can't hurt being there. Yeah, that can't hurt. Distorting the history of the country and making a show of that distorted history in the shadow of such prestigious institutions as the Smithsonian and the seats of all three branches of the federal government? <laughs> I'm sure, Steve, that your plan to enlighten lawmakers, who generally can't wait to get out of D.C. first chance they get, <laughs> I mean, it's not about bolstering the already monstrously entrenched delusions of your fellow evangelical Christians wandering lost in D.C., hoping to bump into Sarah Palin or Glenn Beck, that, that the principal concerns of the framers of the Constitution uh, was to instill Christian values uh, in the new nation. This is obvious from the innumerable mentions of the God of Abraham, Jesus, Moses, the Decalogue, heaven, uh, divine justice, hell, plagues, uh, the eating of shellfish, plagues, flood, burning sulfur raining from the sky, pillars of salt, and drunken incest in the Constitution. Oh, wait, none of that is mentioned in the Constitution! 
The original unamended constitution spends more parchment talking about the prohibition on religious tests for any office or public trust than it does touching on any aspect of your Bronze Age Harry Potter meets Fifty Shades of Grey debauchery fest. So, good luck with your customs fraud case, Steve. We have got to get organized! Still to come, how is Jeb Bush like an ATM machine? And how do you get to be a rich asshole and an ignorant twat? Have you been injured in an accident or can you pretend to have been? If so, we may be entitled to 40% of any settlement you receive. We're the law offices of Angry, Bitter, Vindictive, and Rosenblatt, and we've spent over half a century profiting from the pain and suffering of people who, in some cases, didn't even know they were suffering or in pain. At Angry, Bitter, Vindictive, and Rosenblatt, our attorneys have the skills and experience necessary to turn almost any activity into billable hours. And that means you can pay us more. Angry, Bitter, Vindictive, and Rosenblatt, specializing in personal injury, family law, product liability claims, and almost any other area where emotion weighs more than evidence. Angry, Bitter, Vindictive, and Rosenblatt, getting richer off your mild discomfort since 1955. John Ellis Bush, whom you may know as Jeb, has been struggling lately to get a footing and distinguish himself among the idiots, loons, and full-bore assholes peopling the race for the GOP nomination. As a demonstration of his overqualification for the job of presidential also ran, he has turned to his successful older brother, George, for guidance and support. This can only end well for Jeb! since George had such a successful run in the White House. What with 9-11, two unnecessary wars, alienation of most of our allies, and economic collapse, why, Jeb would be a fool not to seek the support of his brother. And finally, and I do mean finally, we all saw this coming, didn't we? Martin Shkreli, the smug hipster pharma tool who needs to learn to shut his whore mouth when Billy Mays is talking, got his ass handed to him as an elegantly prepared plate of charcuterie in a recent Reddit Ask Me Anything. One user who identified himself as a doctor who works for a charity demolished Shkreli like a roid-raged... Mike Tyson beating Jesse Helms to death using Strom Thurmond as the blunt instrument. It's refreshing to know that not everyone regards unchecked greed and flagrant ignorance with a blasé shrug and a, what can you do? There is a time for rudeness, for calling a spade a spade, and a greedy douchebag a greedy douchebag. All hail thee, Anandaya. Well, that's all for this edition of News Undies. If you see news that shouldn't be news, you can submit your story tips online at newsundies.com or on Twitter with the hashtag NUSTIP. News Undies is a weekly show. We'll be back on Friday, November 6th with fresh undies. If you like this video, please like this video. If you like the show, please spread the word. Got a question, comment, or suggestion? Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, circle us on Google+, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, ignore us on MySpace, tell your friends, and buy News Undies Kitsch at newsundies.com. Thanks for watching. For all of us here at News Undies, until next time, I'm Paul Torville. After that, I might be flying Dynamic International Airways to Caracas. Or maybe not. I just want to tell you good luck. We're all counting on you.